Hello everyone, it's Plagin. Hope you're all having a lovely time. So, recently, I decided, why don't we go on a little journey together, huh? Now, I had just finished uh, beating Starfield and getting all the achievements and stuff in it. So, I thought, hey, wouldn't it be fun if we... Uh, took some time and just explored every single planet, solar system in the game, and just sort of see what every planet has to offer, all the different, like, structures on it and stuff like that, and, you know, just kind of see how it, how it goes. And I'll explain a little more in depth as we get going and stuff. Um, but yeah, why don't we go ahead and I'm just going to go flick over here. The Starfield, I already got the game open and loaded in and all that. And, uh, yeah, so... I do want to mention one thing before we actually hop into the game. Now, when I'm recording it, in my little preview recording window, it, it looks like the game is, like, stuttering and lagging and choppy when I'm looking at the recording preview. However... I tested it, and I don't think when I'm actually recording and getting the recording, it looks like that. I will look at it, at least a little bit of it, before I upload it, but I think it should be fine. But if you do notice any choppiness anywhere, um, or anything that looks like it's lagging or stuttering or whatever, let me know. Uh, and I can hopefully fix that in future videos and see what's going on. Anyway, go ahead and start this up by first discussing the mods that I have installed, because I do have some mods installed to uh, help with some various things. Uh, so first of all, we have the Starfield Script Extender, or FSSE, um, which is basically required to run a, a number of different mods that uh, I'll be using. Uh, next, we have the Neutral U. L or LUTs, sorry, which is uh, basically no color filtering. I have not noticed what this one does much. In the, the the pictures that they showed, it looked various or very very different, but I haven't really noticed any of the major changes myself. Uh, next up, we have undelayed menus, which speeds up menus. So when you're going between menus and stuff, it's going to be a lot faster. And that one I noticed. I had Baka Achievement Enabler. Um, set up so that it enables achievements when modded. That way I could just get achievements while I was modded um, because the stuff that I'm using, it's not really like, it doesn't help me get achievements, as you'll, as you'll hear here. The next one is Star UI Inventory, which is just a better inventory. It gives more details about the stuff and like value per weight and that kind of stuff. Um, skip, sh skip Ship Docking which this one, real fast, you just dock with space stations and stuff and land. Really great to skip a bunch of time for uh, that. Next we have Ultra Anim, uh, which is Ultra Animation. It's uh, faster use animations, so whether you're opening up a bulkhead door or you're climbing up a ladder or you're sitting down, it'll happen a lot faster now, which is a godsend. And then there's a Simple Faster Walk, which speeds up your, your walking stance because I was getting tired of following NPCs as they were walking and then my walk being like half the speed of their walk. However, this one, it, it's just a hair faster than the NPCs walk still and it's still annoying, but it's a lot better now. And those are the only ones I have installed. So as you can see, it doesn't really help with any um, like achievement getting things. Also, I already have all the achievements, so I went ahead and just... Completely removed Baka Achievement Enabler. Anyway, I just wanted to give that one a little bit of a shout out since I did use it and it did work. Uh, however, if you do get that one and then Starfield updates, you'll not only have to get SFSE updated in order to play, but you'll also need to get Baka Achievement Enabler updated as well to the latest version uh, before you'll be able to play Starfield again or just remove the mod, you know. That's the long and short of that. Anyway, let's jump into the game now. So I'll kind of explain things first of all. So I'm here in New Atlantis. 
This isn't immediately after New Game Plus. I am in New Game Plus, as you can see from the uh, armor I'm wearing here. Hey, I do have a ship that I got and modified, and I do have some weaponry, but we don't have... Oops, that's not the button I meant to press. What button was? Oops. Uh, 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 hold on. The fuck? The hell's happening? I think my tab button got stuck or something. Because I was... All those other times I opened up the, the map, I uh, I was hitting F and W and A and SD. But, yeah. So I'm right now a little bit overweight. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to some shops, sell some stuff so I'm underweight. Then we're going to buy some new guns if I can get them. So we're going to come over to Jameson Mercantile. A little bit bright oh, here. Everything you need. Hi there. Oh, hello. Thanks for. I can take care of transactions and if you've got. Right. Oh, this please. is the first time I've talked to her, so it's gonna be annoying. All right. We're gonna sell some of the unnecessary guns that we have here. Um. I want to keep the old Earth rifle for now until we find better alternative for it. Uh, this one we're keeping. This one uses the same ammunition as that one, so we're gonna get rid of that. Pacifier uses the 15 shells. I use the 40 uh, ML or XPL stuff. And this is the micro gun minigun, which uses 777, which we're not going to deal with. All right, so next, what do, we, what do we have here? We have a throwable. We can get rid of that. Aid. I don't need all of this stuff. Keep the trauma pack, the med pack. I have the ship parts, which that's really weighing me down because that's 80 pound, or eighty mass right there. Um, notes. I'm going to go ahead and just sell all items in the category there. Uh, resources. Why do I have so much copper? Okay, so we'll do that. That's what's weighing me down there. Appreciate Oop. the business. All right. So we're going to go over here. Back through here. I'm gonna get a bunch of quests because we're uh, dealing with me starting a new game and walking past people who are spreading rumors. So you can go ahead and just ignore that for now. We're not gonna be doing any quests, or if we are, it's gonna be because we landed on a planet and it randomly gave us a quest. So we're gonna stop by this place, which is a uh, guy who sells I weapons, ammo, all that, and jazz. Absolutely. I do want to mention, I do have uh, half a million credits right now, and that is because I cheated them in when New Game Plus started, just so we would have stuff to get settled and all that. So we're going to sell all that. Uh, those are dip picks. I also gave myself infinite dip picks, basically. Not infinite, I just gave 999, just to get that all started and squared away. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's super easy to get money in this game so i figured i would just do that and then Take your time. go from there do i have anything in my ship some stuff but i want all that all right so what guns you got dude nothing really um you have a breach which is eight or four hundred and eighty right there i think we'll buy that because that's better than the shotgun we currently have um, I think the advanced negotiator is the same or just a little less, but fine. Mm. Don't really need a pistol. Okay, let's back out of that. Um, let's go ahead and grab some Ultra Mag. Definitely want the MI array. Uh, we're going to get the 11, the shotgun ammo, the XMLs. Uh, we're going to grab the 777, the 762. I'm going to grab some 6.5, some of that. And let's get some 50 cal as well while we're here. The rest of this stuff I don't think I've used much ever in my playthroughs. Next, let's check spacesuits. Yeah, you have garbage right there. Packs. I think the pack comes with the spacesuit. So until I find a decent spacesuit, I don't need to worry about much else. Hmm. Yes, all garbage. Great. Okay. Um, I don't care about throwables. Aid. You don't have any medical supplies, so that's worthless. Okay. 
Let's go back to sell, and now we can sell my old shotgun right there. And we have that. Okay, perfect. So after we do that, let's go ahead and set else. those as my main weapons. So we have this gun first. This is just a random one I found. I've already done a little bit of side questy stuff. Try and get a ship and to upgrade my ship, but that's fine and dandy there. So we're going to go ahead and set the old Earth assault rifle to two. The breach is going to be three. Advanced Negotiator is going to be 5, Minigun is going to be 4, or the Micro Gun as they call it. Alright, so that's our weapons for right now. We don't have a whole bunch of ammo. I think the weapon we have the most for is the Micro Gun, uh, which is not ideal. Maybe that goes through ammo really quick. After that, looks like we have the 762 here. But we're going to stop by the Medical Supplies. I've got limited resources. Well, that's what I'm here. That's not sure what. No, I'm going to click. We're no okay. Aid. Let's see. Let me grab your emergency kit, your medical packs, and your trauma packs. Also, I might as well just grab all of these in case we get injuries or stuff like that that we're going to have out there. All right. Moving on. So I think for right now we'll have decent weapons and ammo. I don't see us getting into too many firefights unless we go into a building uh, that we find somewhere. Like I said, we're going to be exploring planets, so it's, it's not going to be the... My, my, my game for some reason. Let me back up. The door just looks awful. Hold on. I, I think I reduced some settings at some point. To uh, Yeah, I'm on low settings. I don't know why the fuck I was like, yeah, let's go to low settings. Um, that'll be fine. Uh, we'll go to high. I think it was because I was trying to figure out why the hell the game was stuttering in my window here. Uh, motion blur, we're going to turn that off. Um, everything else I think we will keep. I will remove shadows down a little bit. Because they're just shadows. They don't need to be sharp and crazy or anything. Okay, so now if we go back, we should actually see the game a little bit better. Still a little bit choppy around the edges there. I don't know why. We're going to go back to the spaceport. And we'll uh, take off. I'll show you my ship real quick. Because we're going to be flying around in it for a while. And, uh, yeah. I do want to point out I'm not the best starship designer. And the base of this starship was actually one that we... Uh, no, not we. That I... I think I stole it. I either... It's been a minute since I set up for this, but either I stole it from some people uh, who are on the ground and took off with it, or I was fighting the uh, people in space who owned it, boarded them, and captured it that way. But anyway, before we... We don't want to get on it, because then I can't show you the whole thing and what it's made up of. I can go to view and modify ship. Okay, no problem. And then we can go and take a look here. So we'll just go to uh, inspect. We can kind of see it. So you can see the frame of it is this uh, Stroud uh, base here. And this whole area of the ship came stock. Uh, this stuff is not added. Uh, the body of it and the habitats and stuff that it has there aren't, aren't added um, anyway. And came with the hatch and all that. And then the stuff in the rear and the stuff on the sides I added. And the guns I added as well. Also this uh, shield generator I added as well. So here's kind of a nice view of the ship. I just sort of added some wings out to the side to kind of make it a little bit different. Wanted to use these engines, have them take a look and all that. So let's, let's go back and go into Ship Builder. We can kind of show you some, some of the parts and whatnot. So here we have the Stroud body and all that good jazz. And then we have some connectors. And these are just uh, nothing special, nothing special. And then we have some uh, shielded cargo bays so I can smuggle in cargo and uh, contraband stuff. More shielded cargo over here for a total of 3,000 cargo. Um... 
quite a quite a bit there. So I think underneath here I have uh, this cargo hold as well, which is fourteen hundred, which is half the cargo hold, and the rest are shielded. So that, that's great there. And then we have this engine, which gives us a lovely twenty-five thousand thrust and eight thousand maneuvering thrust. Really good stuff. Same with this engine. And these engines here give us 22 and 4,000, which is not bad. We have really just an obscene amount of fuel. Uh, 650 here, 650 here, just to kind of make things symmetrical. Then we have for our lovely little grav drive, it is a grav thrust of 50, which is the, I think, the largest you can find currently. And then we have down here our reactor, which is 40 power generated, just lovely stuff. Uh, it gives us plenty of room for all that good jazz. Now for the shield, we have this one, which is a C-class shield, 1,190 shield power. And then we have our armaments, which is the last thing that's really important here, which uh, our bulk of our armaments are made up by these auto alpha beams, which are auto turrets that fire automatically at the enemy as they come into contact here. We also have, well, I guess the auto beams are ones we fire, then the turrets, the ones that have these little uh, brackets around them here, they are the ones that fire automatically. Just the same thing as these, basically just automated. Then I have these turrets here, which are railgun turrets, which I've not used too many of. I just wanted to get another type of weapon on the ship to kind of see what was going on. I haven't used this one much in combat, um, since I've added the railguns and whatnot. But I do know these things are really reliable. The auto alpha beams, the, uh, the PBO 300s, they are amazing. They tear through any ship. I've been using these since my first playthrough, and it just eats people alive. It is so good. So that's the ship that we're going to be using as we go through. Um, I also have my Frontier ship, and of course the Starborn Guardian ship, but you can't edit this ship, so it's unfortunate. Anyway, this is the ship we're going to be using, so let's get out of here, and we're going to go ahead and start going to our current place. I'm actually... I was just lagging there a little bit. Hmm. Might adjust the visual settings again here. Hold on. I didn't expect this to... Like this. Um... Resolution scale reduce to increase performance. Controls what percentage of display resolution to render the game at. Sure, why not? I don't know. Um. Sure. There anything that I'm missing? That's like. Film grains off, depth of field is off. Okay, I don't know. Maybe reducing that will help it a little bit. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to get in the cockpit. And then we're just going to take off. Okay, that's stuttery for some reason. Jesus, hold on. Maybe uh, having that lower is not good. Why am I stuttering like this? That's bizarre. Hold up. Okay, let's reduce this down to like that. And then let's just set things to medium. A little bit smoother now, but Jesus Christ, the, it looks pixelated when I move. What the hell? I don't know why it's doing that. Let me open my task manager. Huh? Like, the GPU is only sitting at like 90. Well, let's take off. We're just gonna jump on out of here into space. Oh, that looks so bad. I did something between my last playthrough and this one that has just made the game shit itself. I don't know what I did.
anyway, we're in orbit. Woo! As you can see, we, we don't have a whole lot of uh, stuff here that we can do with our energy. Um, we do need one, at least, to fire up our grab drive, and I'm going to put most of it into uh, engines and shields. That way, we can, you know, survive in space and stuff. And, uh, oh, that's, that's great. My recording software is just completely frozen. I can't see shit unless I tab out of the game. Like, all the vocals and stuff just completely stop moving. I hope that's not a bad sign there. What the hell is going on with my, my settings? Let's try that. Does that look does that look a little better? I think it looks a bit better. What if I just max that out? Okay, that looks okay. So yeah, I'm just not going to pay attention to the side screen there. Let's put the last of our uh, energy into our main guns, so... Huh, I don't think they're supposed to be firing from behind me. That's weird. Unfortunately, I can't use my other weapons unless we're in combat. It's fine. So, we're going to start our little exploration here because it's already been like 30 minutes. Almost. So we're just going to start with a fairly small area up here. So we're just going to start at uh, uh, Alpha and Beta and draw state. And draw stay, whatever the heck it is. We're just going to kind of start in the corner up here and then go down to the corner down here or up here. As you can see, all these different little dots are different systems. So we tap here and we'll get shown this area. So the planets we're going to be exploring range from ones that have, like, actual planetariness to them. And then if we look at this one over here, this one is just going to be a barren rock. So we might not find much here. But the thing is, we need to get to the planet and scan it in order to see if there's any structures or anything like that on it. So we're going to set course. We're going to jump. So I'll take a moment for the grab drive to kick up. I could remove some power from something else and put it into the grab drive to make it go faster. But for right now, we'll just keep this since we're jumping into a system. I could potentially have some hostiles around here. Maybe we'll just there. Okay. So now we're actually here. Oh, there is a ship here. What is it? It is a settler strip slipstream. Jesus. Okay. Not hostile. Don't worry about that. All right, let's go ahead and scan. So as you can see, when we scan a planet, it will reveal the resources that are on it and where they're at. So we have helium here, iron here, and if we click on it, we can mark a landing point to be like, yeah, I want to land here. And land there. But there's no real markers on this map at all. There's nothing like here, here, right? So let's just land, and I'll show you just how barren this planet is, and why we're probably going to be skipping landing on all these moons. All the moons that are literally just a barren rock. Now, we're going to exit the ship, and that'll put us outside here. And we can then, I think I have enough boost power to get up on top of this. Yeah, first. So here we can see just how the planet looks. It is nice and barren. There's no uh, real structures or plant life, animal life on it, except for this thing, which we happen to land right by, which we can't explore. However, this is just a prefab. Uh, a pre-built, like, random generating structure, right? There's nothing actually here that um, really matters, I should say. So we can go over here. It looks like... Is that a ship? 
cannot tell. It might be uh, some sort of shipyard or something. We can go take a look at it. Uh, we're probably not going to explore it a whole great deal. I mean, because, like I said, it is just a uh, a building that has appeared before and all that good jazz. So yeah, it looks like a ship right there. Let's prepare for battle. Abandoned weapons factory. Yep, okay. We can just jump over this wall and we can see some enemies on the, uh, the radar down there. Oops, I was just trying to get down a little bit further, but that's fine. All right, let's take a look. So here we have some of these guys. Robot there. All right, let's get up there. Even I'm getting a little bit of lag when I'm moving around here for some reason. I might have to look at the settings again or something. Maybe I'll just not use my, my VTuber model. That seems to sometimes be the cause. But eats up a little bit of CPU usage. Again, we're not sitting at like max GPU or anything. It's not like at 90, which is usually where it sits at when you're playing games and stuff. So. You know, the ecliptic, these guys, are the only ones that I've seen that when you kill them, they, like, fly up and explode. Or, like, their packs explode or something. I've not seen any other, like, enemy that does that. Oh, well, I wonder what it is with these guys that makes them do that. Okay. I didn't help at all. I was too far away. Darn it. Sure, I'll take a look at that. I thought I saw someone fly down. Must not have been. Uh, notes. Communicate. So the Aplictic are a uh, mercenary group, if you're not familiar here. Uh, yeah, and they're just kind of uh, little baddies, essentially. What the fuck are these engines? I want some of these engines. They look so cool. The hell? I wish I had a sniper so I could peck these guys off a little bit better. Go. I think he died. Stand up, come on. Now he's gonna burn to death. Alright. Yeah, just one second. I am going to actually to not delete my VTuber model. I'm gonna remove it. There we go. Maybe that'll help make things a little bit smoother. I don't know. Oh, he didn't die. Ah! He might come down there. Ah, actually, I really hate the uh, jetpack combat when you were, like, flying and stuff like that, because the crosshair does not stay level. It's so hard to aim. Oh, 
Oh, I am taking a little bit of damage here. Grab this guy. That uh, ecliptic communicate. Never actually heard that before. So that was a neat little tidbit of information. You got a good gun for me, sir? No, you got a shite one is what you fucking got. Okay. Take your ammunition a little less, no? So I'm not really going to be doing too much looting here, unless I see something that seems interesting. Um, let's try that, and then that'll fit there. Uh, if I rotate this over to here, we can do that one and then this one. You know, because there's just not a whole lot of reason to loot stuff if I already have better stuff, you know. Ooh, we got a defense manual book. Further increases magazine size and weapon bash critical for all allied um, guns. That. Shall we do work our notes? Don't care about that or that. Nothing else that seems to be very valuable here. We just reload this gun. And then, was that one I picked up? The mag shear. That is the 50 MI. Let's test this thing out. I had one of these in my previous playthrough. It was a unique one, though. And I loved it. It was uh, the best gun I've ever used. So. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're keeping this. In my first playthroughs, I would see this gun and I'd be like, oh, it's got such low damage on it. And I would just, like, ignore it. But we got their fire and stuff, huh? There you are. Got him. And then... Keep coming up here. Where are you at? Hiding down here, are you? I got him with my boost pack. There we go. All right. Care of that. So I could go in and actually like search this weapon place a little bit more. But I don't think I need to. Again, it's just a prefab area. Not gonna be too much here that I think is interesting. I think this computer's just gonna be about robots in it. Talk about sales, weapon shipment. Uh hmm. I wonder if that means that there's going to be weapons here somewhere. Maybe I should actually take a look. Again, I've never explored this place in my previous playthroughs. So... Oops. I didn't mean to actually take that. How's this helmet look? I'll, I'll grab it for now. I don't really like wearing the Starborn um, thing here. Let me equip one of these. Uh oh. Put that back on. I wasn't wearing a spacesuit, and this place is not hospitable, so that was bad. <clears throat> okay. <coughs> So yeah, is there actually any way, like, deeper into this facility? I don't think there is actually a, like, inside of this place. I think this is literally it. So, we don't have to deal with uh, missing anything. God, those... This engine looks so cool. Why can't I find that and put it on my ship? At least I've never found someone who sells it. Maybe it's a place that I've just not tried to build a ship in. Because you don't get all the ship parts for every single uh, trader who builds ships. Yeah, it's it's just uh, 
they sell faction related ship parts so if you're in the united colonies they'll sell ship parts that belong to people from the united colonies and all that jazz oh look just uh i'll take that and antibiotics i don't need credits but i'll take them okay all right well this was a little uh side mission here so let's back out and we'll explore uh this one next so Again, I don't really see any structures on this planet, but let's go ahead and just sit down somewhere. And we'll take a look. So whenever you go to a new planet, you have to uh, first go into orbit of it, and then you can sit down on the planet itself. So, we shall see what this planet looks like. And this is basically what the um, whole series here is going to be. We're going to go to each planet, see if there's anything cool that we can see from orbit. We're going to sit down on the planet, get out, take a look around, kind of see how it looks. Because um, for the most part, Landed right next to another damn structure, huh? Okay. We can take a look at that one. That's fine. But we got a ship coming down from orbit somewhere. We're there. If I open up my uh, scanner, we can actually see it touched down, and then there should get a, uh, a landing zone marker. That ship looks really neat. I wonder if I can commandeer that ship. Let's take a look. I mean, even if I can commandeer, I'm probably not going to. Mainly because my ship is already kitted out with the best stuff, basically. And I would, I would just have to do it to that ship as well. It would be unfortunate, so I can go ahead and... I'm using a starborn power, which uh, creates uh, an energy zone around me. Which allows me to continue running without having to stop and recover my breath, which is really nice. So it's probably the the only power I use. All the other powers haven't really done anything for me. Well, this ship looks a little bit different. It's a it's called Thresher. It doesn't seem to be associated with anyone. Kind of a poor looking ship, if I do say so myself. If we take a look at it here, it's got some missiles on it. Yeah, it's really nothing to write home about. I can board it though. Ooh, it's locked. Is this a unique ship? I mean, it has a name, so maybe it is? I'm interested. Let's go ahead and, uh,. Take this thing. So we're gonna have to do these. And then I'm assuming this one goes here, and then we have three more. So I can't use this one actually. Then we wouldn't have enough nodes. So it's gotta be this one? Nope. Okay, so it's not that one or that one, so it's these two. I'm assuming we go that one and this one here. Let's make sure it lines up before we just slot them in. Hello, crew of the Thresher. Are you uh you hear? I should hold up real quick. Um, we're going to assign this to be weapon number six. We're going to equip the breach since it's a close range mission here. Hello, hello. Anybody here? It's a very small ship, so... Where's the crew? They literally just landed. They don't have, like, anything in, in stock, either. Huh. So they have... some shitty engines, some cargo, 
some fuel tanks, really just a laser and a missile on the left and right there. So I could steal this ship right now. Um, we're not going to, like I said, it's a pretty shitty ship, but no crew, huh? Oh, there they are. Who the fuck is this guy? Colonist. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. They got nothing to say. So this place has some nice canyoning areas to it. It's not too special though. So let's take a look at this whatever facility this is real quick. See if there's anything neat there. Uh, probably won't be since, like I said, it's it's a, a structure that you come across randomly. I heard another ship coming down from orbit. Oh, I do. Where's that? There it is. Landing on that side now, huh? Okay. Well, we're gonna ignore that. I don't really care about ships too much. I just wanted to check that one out because it looked kind of interesting. But it really wasn't, so. Alright, facility, let's see what you are. I just heard something weird there. Looks like some sort of Research facility, maybe? Oh, we got enemies. Ecliptics. <clears throat> Alright, let's rock. I missed the, uh, the gun that I had for this, the Magstorm I had, the, the rare one. I guess it's not rare. You can get it from playing the uh, pirate campaign, but it had explosive shots on it as well, which were just so nice. It's like anytime you shot anywhere, it would explode for like AoE damage and stuff. Very nice. Also, keep in mind, we are just on the, uh, we're in the easy areas so far of the, uh, the universe, so that's why these guys are so weak and worthless, because we, uh, we're not anywhere big and bad yet. The, the big bad places that have, you know, people with tons of hell, are strong and whatnot, they are... Uh, on the basically east side of the galaxy. Gonna pick up the free ammo. Also, as you can see, this gun eats through ammunition. It's not ideal at all. This is a science facility. I think I've been inside this place before, actually, now that I think about it. There we are. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, this gun's gonna be basically donezo. So the mag pulse is not automatic. So we're not gonna be grabbing that. The mag storm is the one I'm currently using. Which is, mwah, chef's kiss. I'm shooting at me, you jackasses. I'm looting your stuff. Okay. Let's swap off of that. I was not expecting to one shot that turret, but okay. Nice grenade, dumbass. Okay. Well, 
That's really everything here, huh? I'm gonna take your ammunition and any medical supplies I can find, because I actually have a, a lack of medical supplies, and it'd be nice to have those, so. Um, real quick, I'm gonna open up my skills, because we have certified in some stuff here. I'm gonna go ahead and rank some stuff up. Members have a 50% chance to not naturally recover from a down state. Oh, cool. Okay, that's everything for this combat area. Um, isolation. So we do 20% more damage and gain damage resistance for each spacesuit and helmet equipped when you don't have a companion. Okay. And then we had, I think another one over here was glowing, wasn't it? Or was I blind? Seeing things. Was I seeing things? I wish it was a lot more noticeable which ones, like, you could level up. They shimmer, but it, like, takes a second to, like, do so. So you're better off just going like this. Check these two. I think I see one shimmering on the right there. Okay, cool. That's all that taken care of. Uh, now where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Alright. So we don't have to go back to our ship. We can just kind of leave orbit here. Um, let's check out. So we're at one. We might as well go in order of planets so I remember where we've been. Go ahead and do a scan of this planet. Oh, we have a autonomous dog star facility. So that's where we're gonna, where we're gonna head for that one. I don't know why my ship's systems are down. It's weird. Is that a ship or just a cluster of stars right there? Huh. Weird. All right. So we have the uh, autonomous factory here. Let's go ahead and land at that. So those are what we're looking for, the places that are actually already pre-marked on the planet that we don't discover. Because those were put there and built specifically, I think. They're not like randomly generated or like a building that can like randomly spawn anywhere. I think it's a unique building that just happens to uh, be on the planet. So we'll be taking a look. And I don't know if I mentioned this before, but there's probably going to be a lot of walking uh, going on in this uh, series here. We're going to be walking from point A to point B. Now, if we open up our sensor, there's actually going to be animals and stuff here. Uh, there's plants and stuff, as you can see. I don't really see any animals out in the distance, but they might be sleeping right now. But if we wanted to, we could, like, go hunting for the animals, and we could scan all the ore and stuff, and complete the survey, basically. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to do a quick save real quick. And let's take a look at what this place is. So we got a bunch of robots. It does appear they are hostile? I don't know, let's get a little closer and check. Sometimes I've seen red things and they've not been red. You are not allowed in this area. I am Nope, fire. he's mad. Massive damage. Okay. Dunzoed, alright. Let's just uh, look around real quick because there is ammo and stuff that can just be sitting out. So we'll go ahead and grab any of that we can find. Here all addictions, might as well take that. I don't care about the other stuff. If you've ever seen me play 
Fallout or Skyrim, you know that I don't really take drugs too much. Although in Fallout, I do take a lot of jets sometimes. It depends. Usually I try to avoid taking any drugs because there is that risk of uh, getting addicted and stuff. I just don't like to have that. So there are terminals. What's this do? Mail archives. Uh, I don't want to read anything right now. Come on. Credits. Red grenades. There's some... Oop, didn't mean to take the duct tape, but okay. I'm going to look around and see if there's any uh, loot or any uh, tapes in here. Looks like it's just crew quarters. Okay. Moving on to the next area. This place does look similar to a place I've seen before. I don't know if it's the same area that I've been to previously. I may have came here at some point in a previous playthrough, but uh, I don't know. We shall see. Ooh, wait, that's uh, contraband right there. I don't need money, so I'm not going to grab it, but if I wanted to. Termination letter. Letters from your employment with Hephaestus has been terminated effective immediately. You have been given the following reasons. Company restructuring, budget cuts. The decision is not reversible. Ripperoni. If I wanted to, I could turn on my scan here to kind of highlight things that can be taken. And uh, I'm actually going to take that credit chip. There we go. But I think that it just kind of gets in the way. Some of the times. So I try not to use it too much here. Yeah, I think I've definitely been to this facility before. Looking at it. But is it the same one that I'm thinking of? Or does it just use the same layout? Red trench, we have a safe. Credits, ammunition. I might as well take that dig pick. I think I'm down to 998. Okay. Nothing else really in here. Let's go back out. This looks like their mess hall. We'll take a quick gander in here. These doors would take forever to open without that uh, animation uh, mod that I have. So, thank God I have that. Yeah, it looks, looks like it's just a mess hall. We have a reassignment. Upper level is not fully autonomous. You can your presence is no longer necessary here. Okay, yeah. So I've, I've definitely been to this planet before. Um. Yeah. I don't know if this planet. So let's listen for the sound. Now is when the door would have been open. That's how much time that animation thing saves. It's not a whole lot, but it is enough to be, like, annoying to sit through every single time you want to go through a door, right? I'm, I'm not going to explore this place fully, since it does seem like it's the same thing I've done previously. I'll just explain it real quick. So, this was a facility, and then the company decided that, oh hey, why don't we uh, automate it by using robots and stuff? And they were like, we'll just leave one guy in charge here. 
he'll be the one who like kind of oversees the robots in the project and that's kind of what they did and then the uh the robots ended up being like hey you're the one who's kind of in charge you're not allowed to leave and so they kind of locked him uh, up in that structure up there in the main control area where he wasn't allowed to do anything and now the, the robots kind of went crazy and like anyone who gets close or whatnot they just get murdered and killed because no one else is allowed on site except for that guy who's dead and so the robots are just kind of fully running this facility now so yeah all right so now we need to go to three but first let's go to the sensor contact take a look at what it is A derelict thing, huh? I'm just gonna destroy this. Because there is no point in me sitting there. Oh, speaking of ship parts, hold on. I just remembered I have a bunch of ship parts on my person. And I also have some ammunition and stuff in here that I should grab, so... Let's go ahead and store this 80 pounds of uh, mass that I currently have. That way I can actually carry more stuff if we find more stuff. I'm also going to store these helmets. Uh, just because we don't need them. Okay. Back in the chair. Also, the animation to get in and out of the pilot seat is not that quick normally. Alright, so we have a... Industrial outpost, a science outpost, and another science outpost. Okay. Ooh. We have some xenon here. Let's check out the industrial outpost first. Kind of take a look at what we're dealing with here. Mm. Now, I'm not sure if these are all going to be different or if they're going to be the same. I figured since they are um, named places that we don't just go on the planet and see that they would uh, be somewhat unique, but maybe that's not the case. Maybe uh, that's not the case at all. So if we open up our little map here, go to the surface map, the industrial outpost is to our north east there. So if we place our marker close out of that and then I'll go this way so we always land so far away but if we look at our uh, our survey scanner over here we can see that we have these animals sure moving in packs oops I took control of that one accidentally but these are the the creatures that are here kind of like large cockroaches huh and then we have plants and fauna and all that good jazz that's around here that we could scan. And uh, once we finish scanning it, we will uh, see if we can like plant it in like a greenhouse or something and raise it. And we'll see what uh, materials we could be farmed from it or gathered from it or whatnot, you know. Looks like I just picked up some from there by accident. I think those little shits are coming after me. Maybe not. Or maybe they gave up just when I turned around. I don't know. But anyway. Start by scanning all this stuff. That one's finished scanning. Nice. And so if we look at the one we finished scanning, we can see that the... Uh, it has various things about the, you know, like genetics and all that stuff and this one it looks like we cannot grow that in our greenhouse so or otherwise it would say it if we could so this one says outpost production is allowed right there so we could grow that in a greenhouse if we wanted to do so and 
I'm basically just scanning stuff because uh, I get stuff unlocked for it and we can get more stuff there. Okay, so this is the industrial outpost. Looks like we have some friendly people here. It would be advisable to well, hello? This area. You guys uh, got anything to say? Doesn't look I like it. I don't stock any luxury goods. Just the basics. What about this weapon case? Ooh, an arc welder. Hmm. I don't care about that. You guys got yeah, anything to do. say? Just strong arm workers. I actually haven't tried talking to any of them. You've arrived just in time. Hey. Oh. Interested in making some credits? Every person counts on this job, and we got ourselves a dessert with the whole project at risk. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. We need him back safely, and all is forgiven. Even part we need someone able to convince him to come home. We'll pay and pay well. Okay. I'm in. Well, that's terrific. Okay, so let's go ahead and set that as our active mission. Nothing wakes you up in the morning like the sounds of heavy machinery. Yeah? Bring back some good news. I mean, you're not wrong. Because I, I do imagine it would be pretty hard to sleep through. What is this? I got things to do. Chat with someone else. It's like a uh, metallic growth, sort of. Are you still here? Rude. So if we look at our map, we can see that guy's pretty far away from here. We might take a look. We'll see how far it is exactly. I feel like this was not... Uh, the structure was not built around this, but instead this thing just sort of creeped up and, like, destroyed this area. I don't know why everyone's so down on this job. Definitely. Construction work pays great. It seems like they ran into, like, some sort of problem and that uh, thing, like, appeared and messed up their, their piping and stuff. All right, so that guy is a thousand meters away. And unfortunately, you can't just go and <clears throat> take your ship over to it. That'd be too easy, wouldn't it? But uh, we can run because the ship has a certain like area around it you can be in and whatnot. And we can't just re-land a little bit closer. I wish we could. I wish to God we could. But we'll just see how this works. I've not done a quest like this before where we need to talk to a guy to return to the industrial outpost. What's this? Ooh. Interesting. What is my current... Okay, my current spacesuit does 180, basically. 150, really. Up, oh, man. I can't believe someone just left a whole ass spacesuit there. <coughs> have I have I reached that certification? I need to do a few more, huh? Right, it, says, it says unique, so I guess scanning the same one to get it uncovered isn't uh, what it wants me to do, is it? Okay, that's fair. Uh, I think I want, of course. Or not, never mind. I think we're on the same track still. Yeah, so I guess scanning all of these little extra ones don't necessarily count towards the total of uh, the unique things. So we need to use our oxygen thing here. The hardest part of scanning um, all the fauna 
is they like to have the, these really little small things not even this small but like smaller than that they're like maybe the size of a small cat but they're like really low to the ground like a cockroach kind of there's like a big cockroach think of like fallout's rad roaches except imagine them on the smallest they can be and that's sometimes the like smallest fauna that you uh, have to scan is and those are so hard to find because they'll be like hiding in bushes and stuff like that this isn't who i'm looking for is it i really just find a spaceship out in the middle of all this huh This is the place. It's a really outpost, huh? Okay. This guy took shelter here at the civilian outpost. I see. You couldn't have picked a closer place, my guy? Yes. You traveled a ways to find me. Save your breath if you want me to. The only thing that surprised me is that more people didn't follow me. Convince you to come I'll home. hear you out. I know how persuasion works. Bugger off. All right. I'm going to eventually persuade you. You don't know Let's how go. to take no for an answer, do you? Manipulation. It makes sense. Just go along with what I said. Stop trying to... That didn't work? Maybe I am being overly defensive. Huh. I just need a second to think. Fine, enough. I'll go back, all right? I'm ready to go home. I'll follow your lead. Wait, I have to escort you back? You got here by yourself, though. Let me know if you're hungry. For What's this? Credits, I may have something to spare. Yeah? If you're out here, oh, hey. you should arm yourself. We sell. Nice. What weapons you got? Nothing special. Ooh, you do sell MRA or MIRAs. I'll take that. Let's grab some of this. Some of that. Shotgun shells. Let me get a case list. Grab some of that. Let's grab some Ultra Mag too. Why not? Some of that too. We'll grab some of that. Nice. Ooh, this one gives my armor a run for its money little bit not enough to, to care and then I'll take some of your medikits and your trauma packs oops didn't want the snake oil actually yeah I wanted the snake oil never mind give me that okay uh do I have anything to sell some sedative some duct tape. Uh, you can take these notes. Yep, that's it. Thank you. We keep the best weapons for ourselves, so don't do anything stupid. All right, so I think now that this girl is following me, I can just do this and fast travel back. Okay, <clears throat> saved us a lot of time of having to uh, back and forth there. That's nice. We haven't had an injury in 55 days. We're all breathing a sigh of relief around here now that we're all back together. Thank you. Yeah. Here, this is for you. You've earned it. Thank you, sir. Not many would have done that. Okay, so that was the industrial thing. Let's take a look at the science outpost, see if it's any different or if it's going to be another little side quest.
I might not actually do these if they are just something like random. Like if the player, not the player, the character doesn't have a name, there's not really a point in talking to them, yeah? Nice little base they got here. Oh, okay. I have some on you. I've heard the lead research. What do you got for Take sale? Oh, oh, just knives, but uh, notes, material surveys. Okay. Uh, aid. I'll take your medical packs. You can never have too many, right? Go in peace. Okay. Let's see if there's anyone here to actually talk to. Why is this this one little area locked like that? Field work's always been my passion. I can't imagine being stuck behind a desk. Am I ever glad to see? We're being harassed by armed criminals. We've been paying them to leave us alone, but we can't keep this up. They could be back at any time. Thank you so much. But if they come to me... Oops. Nope, they actually want me to go to that area. I don't think I'm going to do that. Like I said, if they're not a, uh... Ooh. That helm looks decent in terms of... stuff. If I squat down and hidden, I'll take that. Now, if I can only find a good jetpack and a good space suit, it would be in business. Well, this is a neat little area, but like I said, I don't think that... I'm going to do that quest, since it doesn't seem like they're unique characters, right? It seems like a, a prefabricated area that was uh, just given some people who were like, yeah, we need a quest done. Welcome to the front lines of scientific advancement in the settled systems. Okay. So I, I'm going to assume this science outpost is pretty much the same. I'll take a look. It might be a different, like, structure or something, at least. But we'll see. Like I said, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Well, it does look different. That's something, at least. Do we even have a uh, mission boards out here? I'm glad someone came along. Yep. We're being stopped by the local. Their layer is closed. Yep. I don't care. I don't. I don't care. I, I don't. I, I don't care. I don't know why I flashed over to that girl over there. Okay. So, yeah, it's another uh, <coughs> thing like that. Gotcha. Anyone are you a traitor? Please. I'm not sure. Oh, there you are. More goods I... You got it. What you got? Well... You don't have any ammunition. Is that a... Why do you have this, sir? Hmm. Okay, Goodbye, well... I think that's all we're gonna get on this planet. It's not a bad planet. It's got uh, you know, some leafiness and stuff like that to it, so that's pretty cool. All right, so that was three, so let's check out... We need ivy, right, for four. There's an abandoned biochem facility. First, we got to get into orbit before we can set down there, though. Security concerns. Did that get abandoned? Yep, okay. It got automatically abandoned because I uh, went away. Ooh, we got a ship here. 
just a normal UC frigate, huh? Okay. Got some nice resources here. Ooh, palladium. Anyway, let's land at this abandoned research facility. I don't know if it's going to be anything unique or if I've seen it before. But we should take a look. Nonetheless. Although it seems I'm probably going to have to walk there, aren't I? Yeah. Of course I'm going to have to walk there. Why wouldn't I, huh? Well, might as well scan the uh, materials while I'm here. Get that going, heck yeah. I have a little zoom to the hand scanner and the scan distance is up to 40 meters. We'll take it. Nice. Upper, huh? Scan it, there we go. We have some large pits here. I think they go down. Anything else up here? I think there was some liquid and gas tanks right there, but I don't care too much about those. So I could drop down there and take a look inside that area, but let's go ahead and fire's computer. Hmm. I guess there's going to be a, a computer on the other side of this area, and that's the way we come back up. Huh? Yes. Ow. Okay. go. I think I set myself on fire a little bit, but that's okay. And I gained burns. Lovely. Well, we have to have to treat that, but I don't think it's too much of an issue right now. Is that better than mine? It is not. What does mine do? Wait. I don't have a Beowulf, do I? It's 777, right? Yes, yeah, so that's the same as my uh, minigun. Don't want to take that then. Sandwiches are for the high clearance person. Yep. Leads us to that area. Maybe emergency kit. Okay, well, I can only go that way, so. Let's go. So I, I think I may have gone to a similar place as this. But we'll see. Buddy I know works at a star station. Found this place in the shipping logs. Find me what I'm looking for again. We want some uncontaminated samples. Am I not pirate? Oh, you're there.
What are they firing at over there? This place actually looks a little bit different than the one I was thinking of, so maybe it's not somewhere I've been before. We'll have to see. Maintenance update. Send an invoice to get someone out here to fix the leak in the pipe in the warehouse. Make sure the supervisors know. Okay. This looks similar to where uh, an artifact is. Ah, fuck off. Okay. Ooh, that was actually worth a pretty penny, huh? Excuse you? Whoa, How did I miss? I'm disappointed. I do have a, uh, a perk thing that does regenerate my health over time, so that is nice. Ah, shame. <laughs> it actually looks pretty cool, but not enough to make me... Ooh, maybe it's directive, huh? What does that say? Listen up, you degenerate group of low lives. Yeah, now I've got your attention. This is Nava. I might not know all you, but you sure as hell know me. I'm the oil that keeps our machine running. And guess what? The machine is about to get bigger. We got solid info that the labs and bases left over from the colony war are all pretty much still functional. Abandoned, but intact. That means the Crimson Fleet. It's new hidey hole all across the cell system. So go out there and start making yourselves at home. So sort of what the uh, ecliptic said. Just a little different. The uh, pirates are part of the Crimson Fleet. Honestly, probably my favorite faction, to be honest. It's actually why my uh, ship is the colors that it is, because that's basically the Crimson Fleet faction colors. See your damn red dots moving around. Ooh, an anti-personnel maelstrom. Too bad it's shit. The, the maelstrom... I don't think I've ever seen one that's, like, been decent in terms of damage. It's basically a, uh, newbie gun. Nope. Y'all good? Help our guys. Let's go. Got him. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, nothing that matters. Um, let's see. We have a. Ooh, we have a mag storm. Or mag shear. I'll take that. Come on, give me all that gun. I'll take a look at those in a moment. Ooh. 
kind of ballistic deep rock pack. I might take that just because I don't have a, uh, a jet pack currently. And if I do find a uh, space suit that I want to wear over the one I'm currently wearing, it'll be nice to have. Okay. What an interesting little plushie. What's this? Computer. Does it have turrets on it? Nope. Presentation. Uh, I'm not going to read that. You got anything on you, sir? You do. Got a helmet. Oh, such a neat helmet, too. Too bad it's not special. If it was at least, like, blue, I would take it, but... It doesn't have any extra bonuses or anything, it's just a helmet. Wow. There should be a turret somewhere around here. Oh, it's over there. Up. Uh, that's an expert hack, I don't want to deal with that. It would just take too long and it's annoying. It would allow me to hijack that turret though, but I don't really care. Crouch down here. Go. Shoot me the dick! He's hiding behind like one thing in me. There we go. Got him. Damn! gonna end so bad. Alrighty, alrighty. Yeah, that one sucks. <laughs> okay. Before we go up there, which I think is the way we need to go, given that the, uh, Enemies were that way. Hmm. That's all this was, okay. Well, let's go then. Incidentally, if you are allied with the Crimson Fleet, you do not have to fight them here because you would be friendly with them, so you could just literally walk like right past them all and they'd be like, what's up, bro? No issues. Ooh. An advanced drum beat. I think it's worse than mine, so we're not going to deal with that. I will take the credits and the dig pick and whatnot just because free stuff. Ooh. A legendary pistol. I will take that one. And it's ammo. Not that I'll use it, but I'll take it at least. Unlock door. That's probably the way out. Right there. Speaking of weapons, so we got a new pistol. I might as well equip that to slot number seven. Um, and then here's my current mag shear. If we look at these, compare them. This new one is better because it has a larger magazine and it also has that doubles the magazine. Well, I guess that's just that. Never mind. Higher accuracy too. But we'll, we'll go ahead and equip that now. And then this guy, we don't really care about because that uses 11 millimeter, which we are currently using for our uh, drum rifle. And it's also weaker anyway, so I don't really care too much there. Okay. I think that unlocked this door. We can go through here. And then, yep, I think we're going back outside. Thumbs up. Yep. Okay, so that door was unlocked. Gotcha. Well, that was that little area. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, I don't think there was anything else on this planet that we really had to take a look at. So, from four, let's go over to five. 
And there is nothing on this planet either, huh? We should at least land on it and just take a look, shall we? Okay. We'll just land in sandy desert, hills, rocky desert. I wanted to go back to the rocky desert, but never mind, we're going to the sandy desert, I guess. Okay. What do we have here? Again, it's probably just going to be sand. It's coarse, rough, and gets everywhere. Alright. Ooh, uranium. Got some nickel there, too. Yeah, so this is basically just a uh, big old dust storm planet, huh? There are structures and stuff out there, but like I said, those are just going to be pre-made structures that aren't really anything special. Uh, those unknown things there and there, those would fill in the question mark symbols on the survey. They're like geographical structure things, but I don't think I care too much to explore those. So nothing on this planet that we're really too interested in. Just got a neat little uh, area there that we took a look at. So let's go ahead and scan this boy. And we have an abandoned weapons station. Ooh. I might... Why is this one... I didn't survey something here, obviously. Did I? No, I surveyed everything. Why is... Why are these white and the other ones are green? I don't get it. Anyway. We need to get into orbit, and then we can set down to that abandoned weapon station. Okay. So this might be similar to the previous abandoned weapon station that we saw. But, only time will tell. And then we'll be finished with this system. At least there's a landing pad here, so we are close. It is looking pretty similar to the one that we had been at previously. But we'll have to actually get a little bit closer to fully investigate. Pirates, huh? I don't know how that was a sneak attack. Bro should have been like... Huh. Someone got out of a jet here. Not a jet, a spaceship here. Um, I have this ailment. Let's take that and get rid of our burns. Get some stealth kills. I think I need some stealth kills to level up certifications, so... Got a guy over there. No, those are just things again. Okay. We just kind of slink up here. There we go. Oh, someone saw me. Damn. I did manage to get that one. Yeah, the first one I shot there. That was nice. Does this kind of have a smile silencer? Silencer? Silencer on it. I'm trying to say there. I can't see that.
Hello, robot. Thanks for coming to me. I think I got those guys. These assholes are trying to flank me, it seems. I just can't see them from my position currently. I think one guy's downed behind that wall. I just cannot see him from here. I crit that guy, but I didn't kill him. Oh, looks like I actually didn't kill that guy. I got some experience for it anyway. Or someone died anyway. Let's go deal with these guys quick. Alright, shotgun time. Oh, they're way inside here. Okay. Okay, that was poor showing my part. I thought the gun was going to fire faster. It did not. So I was uh, trying to like aim off the guy after I clipped the thing again. Again, not enough stuff for it. Dang. Yeah, so this looks like the same weapon location we were at previously. Um, not much to it. It's back outside. I remember there being a weapon crate somewhere. Was it on this side or another area? No, um, I think it's on the other areas. Let's check this hangar out though. That looks neat. Too bad it's not a weapon or something. Oh, hey, there's a robot in there. I could unlock that and free him and he could serve me if I programmed it right, but I don't care about that. Okay. A few other boys around here. I think they're all mostly on that structure across the way. There's a space suit here, though. Oh, that one's pretty close to mine, but it's not Exactly. Where are they at? Oh, there's one. I don't think I can shoot it from here without missing. So let's go ahead and take a look at the guys up top here, because I think one of them was fairly strong. So they might have a decent uh, gun for me. An upgrade from my current one. A storage key. Don't know what that's going to be for, but it's nice. Okay, what do you guys have? Ooh, a titanium osmium dagger. Shame it's melee. Damage while in space. Ooh, and then increase attack speed. You know what? I'll take that. Why not? It's always good to have a, a backup melee weapon. You know. Mag shear. Mm. Mine is better. Oh god. Textural glitch right there. Anything decent in this weapon? An Orion. I don't really care about the Orion. It, it's a weird gun. It has like two barrels. They aren't centered. So there's that guy there. I think if I... Over over him, he... Nope, doesn't get marked. Must be out of range. So there's, I think, at least two in there. One on the ground floor, one on the top. Turn off my flashlight. See if I can get closer. There he is. Got him. And there's that one there. Ooh, it's a pirate cutthroat. Oh. What? I survived, or was that a different guy? Oh, they see me now. I'm out of oxygen, so I can't hold my breath anymore. 
Well, let's just storm in and shoot his ass. Shock him time. Okay. Nice. So we have. Ooh. Does more damage, less armor one has. Well, that's not great for me, is it? Also, it's 777, which would be my minigun, which I don't want to take. I'll take that. Okay. Storage key. Is that for something in here, maybe? Mm -hmm. Nah. We have a Coachman, which is a worthless shotgun. Since it's a double barrel, no point in that. What is this storage key for? Hmm. Is it this door, maybe? It is. Nice. Don't care about that. I'm not going to open the safe. Tracking the last. Ooh, another uh, increased magazine size for all allied ballistic guns. Does that count this, too? No. Blade workers knows that's it. Okay. Well, it almost feels like the other one should have been the storage locker, and that one should have just been open. Yeah. Okay, well, that is this facility once again, I guess. So, I think that's this entire area completed, except... Why... Let me just land on these two planets again. I don't know why they're not green. Seems odd to me. Still not green, why? These ones aren't surveyed or anything. I wish there was like a key for like why these like showed up as... I'm talking about this thing in the upper left where it's like these are green, these are gray. It just seems odd. I don't know. Anyway, that's uh, going to wrap up Alpha Andrasse. Let's take a look at Beta, because Beta might only have like one planet. Yep, okay, it has one planet. Let's take a look here quick. We'll go ahead and jump here. It looks like there's going to be little stony planets or things. So if that's the case, we can just wrap up most of this real quick. Like, So this one, yeah, it's just a complete ball of nothing. This one also seems like it's going to be a ball of nothing. Yep. This one we could potentially have some stuff here. An abandoned mine and a science outpost. We could check out the abandoned mine. This guy has nothing. And then the big guy, I think it might just be a gas giant. It is. Okay. So we have one planet to check out here. So we might as well do that. Uh, back to this one where we can check out the abandoned mine. Now we're not going to check out the science outpost because that appears to be the same as the other science outposts where it just gives us a quest from the people. And uh, it's really all there is to that. Okay. We'll just real quick take a peek at the abandoned mine. I'm sure it's not going to be anything special. Or too special anyway. But we'll see. Okay. Where are we at in relation to the that's an occupied cave? Here we go, the abandoned mine. Only a hundred away. Not bad. Not a bad little planet. Looks like we have some fauna. No flora. Okay. 
No plants, just animals. See no grub. Oh, we got some Varun Zealots, did we? Are they fighting someone? Robots, maybe? I think I hear some steppy steps. I'm getting hit markers there. I'm not sure if that was from the guy I set on fire or nice. That was a great hit. Um before we kill any more, I might as well level that up. 30% weapon damage. Hell yeah. Now I just need to kill a hundred more enemies. <laughs> nice. Something quaking over there. Run from me, will you? A curse is red. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? Let me search your body real quick. Calibrated Equinox. Eh. Don't really care. Why do you have two of the same weapon? Just one's better, my guy. That grenades, credits, my particles. Let's go ahead and activate that switch to open that door. And while it's opening, take a peek at the uh, rest of this stuff. Ugh. It's a real shame that you can't grab the armor off of everyone. So let's see, I think. Jump too many times. Zealot orders, huh? Brothers and sisters, now is the time. We must spread the word of the great serpent across the settled systems. We must speak. And if the unbelievers refuse to listen, then they will be purged. We must go to their places, where they are, where they were, where they will be. We must pave the galaxy and all who stand before us will fall. Yep. Kind of the same thing as the Ecliptic and the, the Crimson Fleet things where they were like, yeah, places are abandoned, go take them. Just a little bit different. Anyway, the House of Varun is a... Uh, Basically a cult that worships this serpent god thing. That they believe the serpent god will come and like devour the uh, the whole universe and everyone in it. And so they like... Uh, they're kind of like terrorists in a way. Just like a little different. There's not a whole lot of information about them. They're very, uh... I 
mysterious. I suppose you could say. I've got to hit this button. All right, into the mining complex we go. I think I've been to a similar place as this before. I most certainly have. Yep, yep, yep. No, thank you. There's nothing in there that I want, so there's a helmet, but that I care about. Oops. What do you got? A space bridger? Yeah, I don't care about that. I will take those though. Ooh, a house rune helmet. Sure, I'll add that to my collection. <laughs> Lock doors. No, I want out. Get me out of that. Okay. Have to wait for the animation to fully go on before you can back out of it. Hey, get back here! Don't run! Stop fucking running, sir. Okay, are they? You're only gonna die tired and on fire, frankly. There's a lot of stuff in there. I think I do want to... Let's go ahead and eliminate the unused keys that won't be used here. And then... I think we can stick that in there. Stick that there. I can then... It has to go there. This one can go here. This guy can go here. And this one can go here, yeah? Nice. Got emergency kit. I don't care about that weapon. Ooh, lithium. Take that ammo. Take that ammo. Take that ammo. I don't care about the mines. Take that ammo. Structural material. Sealant. This is just going to be a worthless spacesuit, isn't it? Ooh, it does have a special backpack, but the bad one. So. We're just gonna not deal with that. And then I think that's everything in here, yeah? Yep. Okay. Not too great, but something at least. Yes, you did fail the Great Serpent. Get racked. Is that the same orders that I've seen previously? It is. Okay. 
Maybe now that I've taken them. Oops. <clears throat> Maybe now that I've taken them, though, they will uh, not show up again. Nickel deposit, huh? There's more guys up there. Okay, let's go. Emergency kit, I'll take it. Turn my light off here. Oh, what? Someone is here. Find them. They don't know where I'm at, but they saw the guy die. Nope, they know where I'm at. Never mind, let's go kill him. Here I go kill him again. I had to my head. Damn it. You I want your gun. Maybe. Okay, before I kill that one, let's kill the other smaller guys first so I don't have to deal with them. Ooh, a Varun spacesuit. Aww. It's a shame it looks like shit, though. Woohoo! Do an advanced Varun spacesuit, though. Ooh. Not special, though. I need to take a med kit real quick. Okay, let's loot that guy, because they probably have some good loot on them. Uh, advanced deep space helmet. Not great, but also not too bad. I'll take it. Varun Pain Blade. It's honestly the highest damaging melee weapon I've seen. I'm gonna take it. There's one guy up there. I don't know how you got behind me, but okay. Probably just walked around, I guess. Fuck out of here. An O2 filtered Varun pack. I'll take it, why not? Got some weird squelching coming from back here. Come out, come out wherever you are. They've lost the trail. I'm gonna reload my guns real quick. Okay. Damn, didn't get the stealth kill there. Get from this one though. If they. Damn it! Hit him. There we go. Uh, well, I was able to perform some stealth hits, so yay. Upgrade stealth meter. You are 50% more difficult to detect when sneaking. Suppress weapons do an additional 10% sneak damage. Nice. Okay. That'll help out a little bit. Normally I just run and gun through stuff, but... Hold your breath longer when scoped. Heck yeah. And then we have scanning, which is scan planets or moons. You can detect unique, inorganic resources on planets and moons and gain a complete list of cargo on spaceships. Nice. I don't think I have anything in here, yeah. No, okay. Cool. Didn't mean to go down here, but okay. A lovely pit of death, it looks like.
Right, I actually have a thing to loot containers, don't I? I'm getting some nice 50 cal array ammo. If you look at my, uh, oh god, yes. We're up to quite a bit now, aren't we? That just goes back the way I came, I think, yeah? Advanced door lock. Go ahead and eliminate unused keys just because I don't want to spend any more time on these than we have to. So that, and then this one would go here, yeah. There we go. And then this one, let's just find a slot for it. And then this one goes in the last slot. Nice. Okay. Is that a magazine right there? Oh, it is. Finding monthly permanently increases tool grip weapon damage by additional 2%. I don't know what tool grip weapons are. Tool grip weapon damage means, but uh. One second. Let's use the Varun Pain Blade and assign it to eight. go. Might as well. Ooh, orders two. That's a new one. Oops, not aid notes. Brothers and sisters, we are the children of the great serpent, spreading his divine word. Forget any home you once knew, for we are now wanderers of the I think I understood the gist of that. Well, that basically this planet's done. Nothing else too much interest in any of these areas. There is the, uh, the science so outpost. And take whatever you need we might as well just check it out. But, uh, I don't think we're gonna see much here. It might just be another, uh, oh dang. This is very angry compared to the other side of the planet, huh? It's not my ship. You wouldn't believe how much tranquility. Take it from me. Let me know if you have questions. Let me get some stuff from you, huh? Why do you guys never have anything decent? Uh, notes, report, abandoned text, luxury textile shipment. Huh. So I could just buy this and find a abandoned shipment? Interesting. Okay, well, let's see. Which pack sucks? This one, pretty bad. Uh, between the two of these, I would say probably this one's the worst. Helmets, let's see. Which one's the best? Here we got 80 and 24 that one's worse than that one this one's the better one of those okay got it there is infantry alpha i don't need that go ahead and get rid of all that stuff and any spare weapons that i got the osmium dagger might as well get rid of that one and then calibrated mag shear I know you don't have enough money for it, but let's go ahead and get rid of that anyway. There we go. Okay. Good luck out there. All right. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. Well, everyone, that was, I believe, these two areas completed. 
There's only one planet here, and then there's the four moons that it has. So. And now, so we have finished with the Andraste system. So next we'll be moving on to these two systems, but that's for the next video. So if you're interested on continuing this journey through the stars, it's going to be mostly the same like this. We're going to be going down to planets, seeing that there's not a whole lot there, and going to the next one pretty quickly. Uh, we might stumble upon some very interesting locations, however, because I don't think there's anyone who has been going to every single planet and checking out every little location. So we will see what happens as we continue this thing. Um, I believe they've said there's thousand planets, um, but those probably also include the little moons that are like nothing on them. So we'll be able to skip quite a few, uh, but there's still hundreds to look at. So join me on my little quest here and we'll see how, how this goes. Until next time, bye bye.